Welcome back, pipe smokers, to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So today for our Friday tobacco review, we are covering Lane Limited 1Q in this jar here with cruddy writing on it. Um, before we get into it, um, I'll let you know I'm smoking it out of my oh, straight pot. Um, this was a, uh, a pipe that was given to me by a, a viewer that he made, Joshua. So Joshua, thank you again for this. Um, that is what I'm currently smoking 1Q in today. And I'm um, also smoking it out of my Celtic Rat Race, not Celtic, uh, Dark Ale Rat Race right here as well. So um, smoking this morning, I was smoking Meridian out of that one. So uh, to get into this blend, this is one of, it was the first blend I ever personally reviewed and not like online or anything like that. Just I, I kept a folder for quite some time or a spiral and uh, that's where I kept my reviews and this was the first one I reviewed actually this is when I first began to try to review something as best as I could so um, I've, I've had I've had uh, uh, I've been enjoying this blend for quite some time I mentioned it in my uh, the video the first the previous one I did on kind of my path into pipe smoking and this was one of the first blends that I truly enjoyed and uh, really got into so I'm excited to review it um, it's been around for a while uh, so let's get into it um, this is lane limited 1q uh, it is put out by lane limited they manufacture it and blend it um, by this well I should say it's under the title name uh, lane limited but it's put out by the Scandinavian tobacco group um, and the the tin description of it is basically a golden cavendish blend but with a hint of five cured blended in providing scintillating taste in a flavorful aroma um, further notes on it it says despite confusion caused by persistent rumor 1q is a lane limited product and a lane invention sold by many brick and mortar shops under many names including wilshire by the tinder box stores maybe some of you had had it under tinder box or purchased it at tinder box under wilshire i mentioned it i first bought it at a brick and mortar store and it was under a different name now i didn't know that at the time i later found out and then i started buying it online under one q name uh so it's an aromatic and it is primarily for cavendish in virginia um, and, and you'll see that when you look at the contents of it in, in, the, um, in the tin or in your jar, it uh, comes in ribbon cut and either bulk or 50 gram tins. Uh, I've never had it in the 50 gram tins. Uh, you can purchase it that, like that. Um, I believe last time I checked Pipes and Cigars had it that way. Smoking Pipes was out, but that fluctuates as usual. Cup of Joe's. Um, uh, the country squire they they should have it or they have had it in the past so they check those guys out for it but it's usually readily available it's really popular um the strength is mild uh, and this has come from tobacco reviews.com strengths mild flavors mild taste mild room note very pleasant to the t agree with all of that right there um let me let, let's look at it real quick i'll show you what it looks like if you've never seen it yourself so uh you you looks like a typical aromatic you see some of the uh, darker red virginia light virginia in there um, and then you see that black cavendish you know you you what you see is what you get uh, it's it's pretty uh pretty one-dimensional in, in in what you're receiving it's not a heavily uh, uh it's not a blend with a lot of variety um, and you're going to see that in the in the smoke as well on top of that so um Probably should give you a tin note uh, just to just to give a little bit more on the background of the of the tin or the of the blend. So the flavoring is vanilla, and you you get that automatically. It's it's like it's it smells like vanilla. Um, maybe a little bit of the grassiness from Virginia, and maybe some caramel and i didn't pick that up in the very first my very first uh, uh experience with it um over time I, I did notice more of the caramel coming forward both in the in the tin note and the and the smoking experience so it's it smells really great um 
and in case I forget to mention it later on, I'm going to go ahead and let you know the, the, the room note. Um, especially for aromatics, it's nice to know what the room note is, and it is very pleasant. This is a great blend. If you are someone who's smoking around others, and maybe some of them are, eh, they don't really like pipe smoking or just smoking all together, um, this is a great one. Uh, this is one I would take if I was going to go smoke somewhere in public with others around, like at a restaurant or at a bar or at a coffee shop or whatever, I don't know, situation like that, this is one I would probably take with me um, because it's, it, it, you're going to make uh, others very, very pleased with your, your, your pipe smoking experience. So I only have about a third of the bowl left here. Um, let me go ahead and light it up. So this may be a quick, a quicker review. Because this blend is is one dimensional. So I'm gonna I'm I'll give my first uh first I'll give the negative maybe of it. And it's not fully a negative. Um it can actually be a positive in, in a situation, but um the the negative, the drawback, if you will, of of limited 1Q is that it is one dimensional. You're not getting a lot of variety. I mean, he, normally I give you a variety of notes and, and character coming out of the very variety of leaves, um, you know, with the red Virginias and what, what you have Latakia and you got Orientals and you have Burley and all those other things. Well, this one, you get a little bit of hay note. Uh, just a bit of hay grassy notes from the Virginia. I don't pick up any like dark red fruity notes there and then you get the topping or the casing So you get that vanilla and you do get some caramel um, So that's really what I get um, I'm, I'm getting some of the hay notes from the Vir Virginia You're tasting a little bit of the tobacco, but then you're getting that vanilla as well on top of that um, with like a side note of caramel caramel on, on the side, but it's it's mostly a vanilla aromatic. So that can be a a drawback. Um, if you are coming in experiencing very flavorful aromatics, you may be disappointed there. This is a lightly flavored aromatic. Um, it's not heavy. The good news is this is not really a goopy blend, and I didn't mention this earlier, but I don't really have to air it out at all. I mean, it's it's ready to go when I open the tin. It's almost perfect. Um, so that's that's a positive. So because it's not like heavily cased, um, it's it's uh, it, it smokes really clean, really well. Like most aromatics don't because they kind of are on the wet side. But this one has doesn't have that problem. And so I don't usually recommend aromatics for new beginners because I just feel like you're gonna burn out. You're you're gonna uh, you're going to make your bowl too hot, um, the smoke too hot. You're not going to get all that flavor and you're going to get frustrated and then put your pipe aside and be done. And I don't want that to happen, but this is an aromatic that I would recommend for new beginners. So where I, I love the country squire middle earth blends, for instance, you know, those aromatics that I, I did review or some of those aromatics, and they're not all aromatics. Um, this is not as in depth um, like those. And then you take GLP's Virginia Cream, which is also like a vanilla, but it also has some Kentucky. Um, that one has more going for it and, and in more variety. This one doesn't, um, but that's not always a a negative um, maybe you're someone who likes to work do something with your hands or maybe it's just simply reading while you uh, while you smoke and you want something to just throw into your pipe and not think about it right Th those are good blends to have um, we, we a lot of us love those very intricate blends that you like to sit and think about all well, what am I tasting and, and it has all sorts of stuff going on well this blend isn't that way and I think it can be a good thing just to have something Smells good for others. Smell good. Smells good for you. Tastes good. Has a good, you know, minor note there, um, and you don't really have to think about it. 
I like that blend because of this. And I'm probably also a little bit partial. Um, I can be a very uh, nostalgic guy. Um, I don't know. I've always been that way. Um, whether it smells or it's taste or it's uh, somewhere I'm going. And I can be very nostalgic. Um, and this, this blend is, is one that I don't have any other blend like it that causes me to be nostalgic. It brings me back when I first smoked, started smoking, where I was in my life and um kind of makes me go down memory lane if you will um so that 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 probably um, heightens my my rating of it um so i'll just let you know up there that that that's in play but but if i try to set that aside and be fair i think this is a great blend i think it's why it's an all-time favorite aromatic blend why it's been so popular because it's it's a it offers a lot without offering much. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, it's very straightforward. Um, it, it does a good job in, in offering you some, um, some, some flavor without being over the top. And uh, I, I think that's why it's been enjoyed so um, by pipe smokers worldwide. Um, you get a little bit of tobacco taste, you get a little bit of flavoring, um, and uh, it's, it's fairly easy on uh, in the smoke, like I said, it doesn't heat up incredibly um, uh, much like it does for other aromatics. So if, to give a review of this or a rating of this out of 1 to 10, as I usually do, I'd probably give this like a 7.5. It's a, That's on the high side for my aromatics. Um, I think some of the other Middle Earth blends, Virginia Cream, are high, rated a little bit higher, but they're, they're quality. This is... This is one that I would rate on the high side as well. Um, it fits into my top aromatic blend. So I do recommend this. It's cheap, readily available, and I, I think it offers something for both beginners, intermediates, and, and, and experts or veterans in pipe smoking. So uh, check it out if you haven't. I think a lot of you have. It's, it's just one of those blends that have been around so long, so many people have tried them. But if you haven't, pick yourself up some. Um, even if it's an ounce to try it out, uh, pick it up, try it out, see what you think. I, I, it's one I keep around and lately I've been pulling it out time to time a little bit more than usual because it's, uh, um, it offers a lot, uh, for what it is. So there you have it guys. Um, if you have tried it, let me know in the comments, Facebook page, things like that. Um, what you think of it. I'd love to know. I'd like to see what, um, some of you guys have been smoking it for a long time and I'd like to know what you think of it and what your experience has been. So um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you take care, and we will talk to you all next Tuesday.